Historically, black and brown trans women have been revered as healers, as leaders, as thought leaders, as those who have paved the way for liberation for LGBTQ people, for disabled people, for folks who have been targeted by sting sanction violence. And it is so critical that we elevate those narratives, elevate those stories and elevate those leaderships because it's part of our legacy. People like Polly Murray, um, Audre Lorde, um, you know, Barbara Smith, Combahee River and Collective, Lena Waithe, who was one of my heroes, is, is telling Black queer stories uh, or telling Black stories from a queer perspective. I am so inspired by the work of Nala Simone of reuniting our African descendants. I'm inspired by the work of Zahara Bassett from Life is Work. The whole Black Lives Matters movement uh, was, was really initiated by three queer Black women. Alicia Garza, Patrice Cullors, um, Opo Tometi. And it really breaks my heart to know that to this day, 24 Black trans women have been murdered in this country. And no one's saying that Black trans lives matter. I just hope people recognize that and really step up the same way that those were the main people who instigated the Stonewall riots, who brought forth the entire gay liberation movement. So many of us have been through so much pain and trauma. And now is time to move into a space of healing, reconciliation, reparations, happiness, and joy. And it's gonna take all of us to do it. Thank you, Black women. Thank you, Black women. Thank you.